Well, all month long, Five News is celebrating Black History, which is 365. And tonight, Five News reporter Rachel Williams shares the story of a mom and a daughter duo who have owned a beauty supply store for more than a decade, but it's not your average beauty supply store. I grew up in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and um, when I was growing up, the only beauty supply store that we had in Northwest Arkansas um, that was catered to minority hair care was Sally's. Because of this, Candace and her mom, Carolyn, decided to fill an unmet need in the community. We were very limited for things for like African-American women. Um, so I wanted to be able to provide like quality products that um, didn't break the bank that were, you know, the quality matched the price. But there's another element to the store that makes it so special. In July of 2020, Candace was diagnosed with breast cancer. It was then the owner started to understand the effect cancer has on women. These ladies need help because I hate for somebody to come in and they're all depressed about cancer. So I told my partner, which is my daughter, Candace, that, hey, let's do something. A few years ago, the duo started offering hair consultations for anyone with alopecia and a cancer diagnosis. I felt like it was a blessing because I was able to relate to a lot of the women that we had coming into the store. I already had this idea in my head that, you know, I wasn't going to be attached to my hair. Since 2011, the mom and daughter duo continued to make an impact on clients and their hair journey. So I was diagnosed with breast cancer in August of 2021. And I had seen Candace go through breast cancer and watch her things on Instagram. And when she lost her hair, she wore wraps and everything on her head. And she didn't make the journey. It's hard, but she still kept herself and showed the importance of still feeling really beautiful while you're going through something that's really hard. Although Gaines decided wigs weren't her thing, she feels confident knowing that hair loss doesn't define her and that there was someone who looked like her and understood her to help build her confidence. I'm so grateful that they have persevered for them as a business, but for selfishly for me to carry through one of the hardest seasons of my life. In Fayetteville, covering news where you live, Rachel Williams, 5 News. All right, thanks so much, Rachel. Well, Hair Couture not only offers wigs for women, but for men and children who are also losing care. The beauty supply is expanding another element to their store by offering solution for eyelashes and eyebrows, which cancer patients sometimes lose as well. This all in addition to planning events to reach an unmet need statewide. 